What up YouTube, this is uh, Henry the Barber, just doing another quick update on some tools and utensils that I've recently purchased. Um, I just got this Clipper Keeper about man, three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. Um, everybody on YouTube, you know, a lot of the barbers got this at their station and whatnot stuff, so I felt that I had to, you know, give it a try. I've been trying a lot of new things. Um, one of the main reasons I got it, because I have another heavy duty case that's uh, heavier duty than this one uh, I just got it because I'm at a recent barber shop right now and uh, a lot of barber stations are different at different shops so I didn't want my stuff falling off uh, the tables and stuff so I figured I can get this case and just leave my clippers in there my other box I had to take everything out and then lay it on the table and I don't want my stuff dropping down and I don't like hanging my stuff on hooks because it just damages the cords so uh, that's why I invested in this clipper keeper so it's about like $115, $109, something like that. Um, uh, where did I get it off of? I think I got it off of... I can't remember if I got it off the Best Clipper uh, website. Um, or you can get it off of MD Barber and Atlanta uh, Barber.com. They all three have it. You can get it It's around the same price. You, know, you won't find it any cheaper anywhere else. It's roughly about $115. Um, has locks on both sides. This is my setup right here so it came with this little uh... didn't come with this this is my this is what i've held my guards in uh... since i started barber school and whatnot because um... i like this case better than the one it came with so let's see if we can get this open this holds all my all my blades So. And I got the outliner, which is like a six up all the way to my newest one is a three and three fourths, uh, the titanium Oster. It's all black. It's pretty clean. It's kind of like a four. Um, so I have all the, all the blades for that one. So I just leave it you know, like this. So that's that. And I have all my other clippers um, in here. I got a couple new trimmers. Uh, combs, brushes, screwdriver. This actually changes. Twist it. Changes into different um. Whatever you need new flat flathead cross tip. It has uh different sizes and whatnot stuff in the barrel. And you just switch it out to what you want, and you get it. Um, I got other combs. All purpose combs, taper combs, flat tops, um, picks, derbies, I got some shears, thinning shears, got my Dovo, I also have my MD, Barber Black Dragon, which I like, so, yeah, it's a good investment, I like it, because at the shop that I work at right now, part time, uh, like I said, they have uh, people just leave theirs on hooks, and a lot of them are cosmetologists, so they don't really have that many clippers. They do a lot of sheer work, so a lot of them are like, "Oh, that's a cool case." Like, yeah, I have to get to invest in something, you know, pretty good like this to keep your. This is all your money makers. This is what all makes your money. So you have to, you know, invest in stuff like this. So you you get your money back, you know, eventually when I stuff. Uh, has a mirror. Right there, and it, that thing all goes off. Comes off. It goes off. It comes with this little styrofoam egg carton styrofoam thing. That's I like. That's pretty good. I guess some of the older ones don't come with that, so it keeps this sturdy. Um, I'm go into my. And one of the things I upgraded on was this pad. I I surf, so I got a longboard case uh, for my surfboard, and I'm not currently using it right now. So this one's extra padded. So uh, I changed the little strap because the strap they had on there looked like it was kind of rinky dinky, and I didn't want it to drop this case. This case is way too expensive, and everything in it is, is expensive too. So I'm getting to one of my new new hitters that I got into. Um, big fan of the wall detailers. 
um, they're just sharp. So I tried these G Wiz, um, Wall G Wiz. Um, I love them. They're like kind of like the Wall Heroes, but right here on the Heroes, they're kind of a little. It's a little thicker. It's kind of bumpier. So when you're lining up, it's it's kind of awkward. You have to get used to it. These Wall Heroes have the same punch, same bite, and uh, they're cordless. So. I got them right now on my, my Laker lanyard because I'm a Laker fan. A spot, we're going to do it this year, I believe. Um, so, see, it's wireless. takes one battery. The wall G Wiz, and they got the wall bling. It's, it's the same thing. I think the wall bling is, instead of the burgundy back, it's all black and chrome or all chrome. But uh, they both do the same thing. It comes with uh, the, the guards, like the detailers on it. And right now, I currently have this the wall five star um, on there. See? Same power, you know, clean up, you know, do the thing. It's easy, it's good for kids, um, and it's only like 20 bucks, it's half the price of the detailers um, and whatnot. And I got this for like 20 bucks on Amazon. Check them out, you know. Um, for any barbers out there looking for clippers and whatnot, you know, always check Amazon, uh, bestclipper.com. I know a lot of people get their stuff at Atlanta. Sally's is way overpriced. They sell it at retail. Um, so, like a lot of stuff that you see in my case would cost you almost $200 just for the clipper itself. So, just um, be smart and patient out there if you're a new barber and just trying to get utensils. I know. When I started, I wanted I wanted a lot of things and wanted stuff. So, um, you know, I started off with three, three, uh, two clippers and uh, one pair of trimmers. So, just be patient. Everything will come towards you, and um, you'll eventually get a, a huge arsenal, or maybe just you'll stick to a couple. <clears throat> Got my nano guards. This is taking. This is my bronze pocket shaver one foil you can get this on amazon too about 20 bucks it's pretty cool it kind of so. and then i just got all my my other clippers we can go over them again um this is just my my starters that i have right now so you saw my wall g wiz i got my Oscar home front edition 76s. Those are my, these are my go tos where I learned how to do all my haircuts, tapers, and fades. Got my Fat Masters. Put my, got my detailers. And these has the, uh, this has a TY blade on it. And I got my. These are my 90th uh, Improved Masters. So that's a three. Three out closed. Without the guard. Without the guard. is a three out closed. And a one all the way open. So these are my... my I just put the guards on them just so... Sometimes when you put them in your case, the, the blades get uh, out of whack. So I don't have to readjust them again. So I just put them on there just for a little, little safety. So that's why I have guards on my... On my trimmers and and whatnot, but it also comes with this little thick foam right here, so it doesn't happen. But in case, so I've had that problem in the past with other stuff. And I got my wall heroes. Oh no, wall heroes! I mean, talking about my uh, <laughs> and it's uh, M threes, um, and these are with the Promate blade on them. These are cool. I haven't been using these in a in a while, but these are my. Out of all my liners before I started using the detailer, these are my go-tos. It's powerful. Um, only problem is they get a little hot, but I mean, it's a cool. They're like my golden eyes. They're all gold, so it's pretty clean. I got my Fade. Fade Masters. Excuse me, I got allergies right now. Um, the Fade Blade on there. 5 out. 2 or 3 out. So it's pretty clean. Like I said, this is my this is my starting starting lineup and whatnot. So I love the clipper keeper. It's good. Like I said, it's it's easy. I 
all my other stuff I pack in this case right here. That's a, another case that I have, and that's all my other utensils uh, that I keep in there. But for the most, you know, keep all my other stuff in here. This is my this is my lineup. This is my starting lineup right here with all my three trimmers, you know, three trimmers and four clippers and does a job. Some people have you no know, less than this, and it's this is taking over, you know couple months or years to to collect and, and get on just try I have, uh, I have backups in my uh, in my tool case uh, in my garage but this is what I usually use on a on a daily and whatnot so um, that's pretty much it for the clipper keeper when I it does a job like I said it's very organized it's a it's a really good investment for barbers that uh, you know barber on the go or whatnot and you know, don't want to keep their stuff on the table or on hooks or whatnot stuff because I don't, like I said, I don't like that because it messes up the cords. Or, so, but yeah, that's pretty much for the uh, clipper keeper when I stuff. So if anybody has any questions, shoot me a comment uh, on any utensils too or blades and I hit you up uh, as soon as possible. All right, Barbara Love.